So one thing we basically always say is there's no shortcut to a health span. So you cannot just get an injection or run a fancy treatment and then live forever. Yeah, just work the top of the pyramid. Exactly. You really have to do the hard, you really have to walk the walk. You really have to do the hard stuff. You really have to change your lifestyle. You really have to do the interventions. And that basically for 95% of uh, the population that we're seeing here, that's the intervention that would be enough to change their way. I mean, there might be a very small subfraction of the population who are really self-optimizers and you're really adhering to some crazy, I call them crazy, they're not crazy, but they're very mm -hmm. stringent health protocols that might look into another way to enhance the health. But the question would be why? So we don't know anything if there's an additive effect. Right? And you might actually offset. Exactly. So, uh, That's exactly the point. Yeah, I agree completely with that. I guess the only thing I would add coming back to some of these more experimental approaches is I think for some people, the individual situation matters. For example, if I had an injury that was really, really affecting my quality of life and it was not healing, I might consider BBC 157 in that case because I would put personal risk reward in a place. And the first time I ever took rapamycin, that was my situation. I had frozen shoulder. The doc wasn't going to help me. He's like, go home and it might go away in a year. I hear I can't live like this for a year. So I tried rapamycin. Right. So I think there are cases where it makes sense for an individual.